Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome back To Do Try This at Home Do Try This at Home Is the show that takes ordinary household items And turns them into something Extraordinary I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we are going to have a great time with static electricity and something called triboelectric charging or the triboelectric effect. Now, what, is, what exactly is that, you're probably wondering? Well, first of all, let me tell you what you need. You need just ordinary styrofoam plates like this. You need some scotch tape, and you're going to take your plate, and you're going to tape it down to a surface Hopefully, uh, like a, a countertop or your table, wood or formica would be good. Don't want to put it on like a metal table, that probably would work as well. You're going to tape that down. Now, you're going to take like your sleeve, and hopefully, if you're living in kind of like the northeastern United States, like I am in Ohio right now, you'll notice that it's very cold and crisp. Hopefully, where you're at is also cold and crisp, because this will not work if it's humid and hot. Humidity is the enemy of static electricity. Now, it's very dry and crisp here, so me rubbing my sweater across that foam plate causes it to get charged up, okay? Now, what else are you gonna need? You're gonna need a pie tin. And I've taken my pie tin and I've made a handle on it with some scotch tape and just another piece of a foam plate. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing some creating of static electricity through something that I told you was called the triboelectric effect or through triboelectric charging. Now what exactly is that? Well to start with, this is aluminum and this is a styrene. Now styrene is an, it's an, it's an item that is a material that's low down on the triboelectric scale or the triboelectric chart. What is that exactly is that? Well it's a way that we've classified different materials as to whether or not they prefer to be positively charged or negatively charged, meaning do they want to grab a hold and keep electrons or do they freely give electrons away? If they want to be positively charged, then they're going to give electrons away. If they want to be negatively charged, then they're going to keep electrons. So, what we've got here is we've got a piece of styrene that's been charged up by me. Being charged up, being styrene means that it's more negative. Now, aluminum likes to be more positive, so we're going to set that down, and if we touch it, we get a shock. We get a spark that's made. Now, this is something that kind of keeps just renewing and renewing and renewing. What do I mean by that? It's kind of interesting. It's actually very interesting. If we lift up on our plate, wow, we get a zap, we get shocked. But we get shocked and we sit it down again. Now if we ground it out with us like this, not really grounding it out, but we're, we're dissipating the charge into our own bodies and we're a positive object. Wow, it zaps me. And it zaps me again. And, whoop, tape came loose. And it zaps me again. And again. And again. It's just like this non-stop just exchanging of electrons and charging of the surface. Now, what can you do with this? Well, I'm going to take you over to the other side of my kitchen and turn off all the lights over there. And I am going to show you some more fun things that you can do. We're going to let this discharge to something that will make a larger spark, my faucet. We're going to light up this neon light, or this fluorescent tube, and we're going to light up this neon light. In fact, this neon light, we're going to do some really cool stuff with over there. So, let's do this once more. Bam! I don't know if you can hear that or not. I'm sure you can't see it with all the lighting that's here. But when I get over there, you're going to see these sparks. And they're actually pretty big. They're probably about, I'd say, three-fourths of an inch long. And this is something that you can create. Just a non-stop static generator. Wow! Pretty cool! The triboelectric effect. Let's go! Okay, the triboelectric effect. Here's the uh, neon, or the fluorescent bulb that we talked about. Look at that, lighting right up. Do that again. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't charge it because I didn't discharge when I returned it to the, uh, to the foam. 
Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Wow, thing lights flashes right up. Let me get a little closer in here. Look at that. Okay, here's the little neon bulb that I had. Look at that. Let's do it one more time here. Let the thing light up. Look at that. Plenty bright too. Let me try to get a better shot of that one more time here. Pretty amazing, the triboelectric effect. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Let's see if I can get a nice spark to my finger here. Ready? Let's see here. Ooh, here's a nice one. Let's try another one. Ooh, nice. See that? Wow, I hope you got a real charge out of that. Hey, what's this whole thing called anyways? It's called an electrophorus. That's Greek for a charge carrier. Anyways, there's something else I was gonna show you before I let you go that's kind of fun too. Get yourself a second styrofoam plate, charge it up through adhesion or through, actually it is through adhesion, or through um, the tribal electric effect and try to set it on top of your other styrofoam plate that's also charged up. And watch what happens. Wow. Wow! They refuse to set on top of each other. Why is that? Because like charges repel. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home! Here are some scenes from the next Just For Fun with Mr. G Show. I hope you all watch. It's going to be electrifying, shocking, and extremely exciting. talk a little bit about static electricity and how we create static, like, static electricity. Try again. And today we're going to have a great time. We're going to be talking about static. I forgot ordinary items. Let's try again.